Hey guys, Robin Rosada here, Director of Instruction for Top Speed Golf. And today we're gonna to talk about chipping with their three wood, why that's really important, and why it makes it easy to get the ball rolling onto the green like a putt. So let's get started talking about that. Okay guys, so chipping with your three wood, why you wanna do this? Kind of the situations that call for it. I mean, you really can do it anywhere around the green. Obviously I wouldn't do it if I was in the rough and over a bunker or anything. But you know, even in the rough, I probably wouldn't do it because it's sitting down. You want a leading edge to get into it. Now I'm gonna talk about that. The reason why we wanna hit this three wood and get the ball rolling, not only get the ball rolling like a putt, but these three woods have a lot more mass than you would a wedge or even a seven iron for a bump and run. Our irons and wedges have a pretty sharp leading edge. So that gives it more of a chance for the club to kind of get down to the ground. And in particular with this shot, like on a slight uphill slope and probably most greens that you're playing, or some of them are a little bit turtled back, so your chip shots, especially around the fringe, are gonna have a little bit of upward slope. And here in Florida, our grass likes to be mean to us. It goes against the grain, so this shot also is slightly against the grain here. So if I have a wedge in my hand, there's a good chance that that leading edge is gonna catch some grass and I'm gonna chunk it a little bit or thin it. That's kind of a common problem I see here in Florida when you're hitting these kind of shots with the wedge is a little bit of a chunk in the thin because that leading edge just scares people. And even with a seven iron, there's still a chance of doing that if you're gonna bump or run it because of that edge. That's what we use in this three wood. So you have this big mass and it has a hot face compared to your iron. So the ball has more of a chance to pop off there, get the ball rolling really easy. So let's talk about our setup kind of what we're gonna do with this shot here. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place the ball just about, here's, I um, have a narrow stance. Here's about middle of my stance here. It's gonna be about half a ball up behind middle. And that gives me enough time to hit it nice and solid. And then I'm actually gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna have a putting stroke to this, a putting grip to it, I mean. And I'm gonna choke down to it to pretty much where my right thumb is resting on to the graphite shaft there. So I'm gonna take my normal putting grip that I've got and then my, my thumbprint of my right thumb, my lower hand, is gonna be just below the grip. That's gonna give me enough stability because this is a pretty long club. When I have a putter, and you know, my putter is only 34 inches, so it's not even still as short as this, but it gives me a little bit more stability, so I'm not having a lot of wiggle room here with a, with a long club. So I'm gonna choke down on it. I forgot my ball position. Now the more important thing, got two more points, is having to keep those hands steady. Just like you would in your putting stroke, nothing really changes. That's why I'm using my putting, my putting grip, is in the putting stroke, it's all about this triangle, keep it in nice and stable together. You wanna to follow through with it here as well, but there's no wrist action in this at all. And that's the trouble I see with chipping, so maybe this is why it's gonna be easy for you, because when you're chipping, you have too much hands into it, causing you to be inconsistent. This motion here of keeping everything together, maintaining this triangle on the way back and on the way through, helps you hit the ball nice and solid with a lot less room for inconsistencies because you're not using your hands so much. And then on the last point is I wanna have this, this three wood slightly higher. My hands are gonna be slightly higher than they would be normally to get it more on the toe. And the reason why is for that, again, it's kind of more of a putting stroke because when you're putting, you're not necessarily way down here trying to hit it. You wanna have your hands a little bit higher so you have a more, keep that same triangle moving through it. All right, so I'm gonna to try to get this somewhere close to the hole, hopefully somewhere in Get the ball rolling. This is really gonna, you're gonna hear it roll into the rough, roll all the way up that slope there, and hopefully get somewhere near the green. Let's go and get started. There it hit, hits that ridge. Might be a little too high, but not bad. Decent spin, I'll take that one. That is, oh, that's actually really close. That's probably actually way better than I would with the wedge. I'm not as nervous, like if I was in a tournament, I feel like I can pull this off way easier or even playing with some, a money game with some buddies than would be against the grain, slightly uphill, long shot with a wedge. This is gonna be a lot easier and less stressful. All right guys, so good luck working on that. You're bumping run with a three wood. Have fun as always and good luck, play well. All right guys, I hope you really enjoyed that video talking about the three wood bump and run, making it easy for you. But you still actually, you wanna learn how to chip it. The preview this one and players on top about your wedges, how to chip around the green with those wedges. And then you click on the iCard for the full version. That's really important you watch the full version. That's gonna really show you how you can chip the ball very well with those wedges specifically. So all right guys, so good luck working on it. Good luck working on a short game. Have fun out there playing and play well as always. So in this chipping drill, we're gonna learn how to, different clubs are gonna control your trajectory differently. And I want you to set up on the front of the green about a four foot gap between two strings. So we're gonna have one string, about a foot or two on the green. It's gonna carry farther in the air. So I've added another four feet of carry distance, but the amount that the ball rolls out is exactly the same. And because it has more loft, it's not gonna roll out quite as much. 
There we go. We see that that ended up about where I wanted it to be. If I wanted.